welcome to Daily Prayer, a ministry of the Good Shepherd Lutheran Church. We'll be here with you every day throughout the COVID-19 emergency. I'm Pastor Bob Schaefer. It's good to see you. Today is Tuesday, July 21st, the Tuesday after proper 11. Let's take a moment of silence now as we begin. Let's pray. Faithful God, most merciful judge, you care for your children with firmness and compassion. By your spirit, nurture us who live in your kingdom that we may be rooted in the way of your son, Jesus Christ, our savior and Lord. Amen. We turn now to the words of Holy Scripture. Today, our readings begin with Psalm 75. We give thanks to you, O God. We give thanks. You reveal your presence. People tell about your amazing deeds. God says, at the appointed times, I judge fairly. When the earth and all its inhabitants dissolve in fear, I make its pillars secure. I say to the proud, do not be proud. And to the wicked, do not be so confident of victory. Do not be so certain you have won. Do not speak with your head held so high. For victory does not come from the east or west or from the wilderness. For God is the judge. He brings one down and exalts another. For the Lord holds in his hand a cup full of foaming wine mixed with spices and pours it out. Surely all the wicked of the earth will slurp it up and drink it to its very last drop. As for me, I will continually tell what you have done. I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. God says, I will bring down all the power of the wicked the godly will be victorious. And now a reading from Zephaniah, the third chapter. The filthy, stained city is as good as dead. The city filled with oppressors is finished. She is disobedient. She refuses correction. She does not trust the Lord. She does not seek the advice of her God. Her princes are as fierce as roaring lions. Her rulers are as hungry as wolves in the desert, who completely devour their prey by morning. Her prophets are proud, they are deceitful men. Her priests defile what is holy, they break God's laws. The just Lord resides within her, he commits no unjust acts. Every morning he reveals his justice, at dawn he appears without fail, yet the unjust know no shame. I destroyed their nations. Their walled cities are in ruins. I turned their streets into ruins. No one passes through them. Their cities are desolate. No one lives there. I thought, certainly you will respect me. Now you will accept correction. If she had done so, her home would not be destroyed by all the punishments I have threatened but they eagerly sinned in everything they did. Therefore, you must wait patiently for me, says the Lord, for the day when I attack and take plunder. I have decided to gather nations together and assemble kingdoms so I can pour out my fury on them, all my raging anger. For the whole earth will be consumed by my fiery anger. Know for sure, that I will then enable the nations to give me acceptable praise. All of them will invoke the Lord's name when they pray and will worship him in unison. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, those who pray to me will bring me tribute. In that day, you will not be ashamed of all your rebellious, rebelliousness against me, for then I will remove from your midst those who proudly boast and you will never again be arrogant on my holy hill. I will leave in your midst a humble and meek group of people, and they will find safety in the Lord's presence. 
the Israelites who remain will not act deceitfully. They will not lie, and a deceitful tongue will not be found in their mouth. Indeed, they will graze peacefully like sheep and lie down. No one will terrify them. Now we turn to the letter to the Galatians, the fourth chapter. Tell me, you who want to be under the law, do you not understand the law? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by the slave woman and the other by the free woman. But one, the son by the slave woman, was born by natural descent, while the other, the son by the free woman, was born through the promise. These things may be treated as an allegory, for these women represent two covenants. One is from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. This is Hagar. Now, Hagar represents Mount Sinai in Arabia and corresponds to the present Jerusalem, where she is in slavery with her children. But the Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren woman who does not bear children. Break forth and shout, you who have no birth pains, because the children of the desolate woman are more numerous than those of the woman who has a husband. But you, brothers and sisters, are children of the promise, like Isaac. But just as at that time, the one born by natural descent persecuted the one born according to the Spirit, so it is now. But what does the scripture say? Throw out the slave woman and her son, for the son of the slave woman will not share the inheritance with the son of the free woman. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are not children of the slave woman, but of the free woman. For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not be subject again to the yoke of slavery. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now that we have dwelt in God's word, let's take some time to pray together. I'd like to invite you to pray out loud with me. Please don't be embarrassed that you're praying with a video screen. I'm here in my stairwell praying in front of a window, and yet, despite how weird all of this is, our technology is joining us in prayer right now, no matter when and where we are. So in that spirit, let's pray. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, have mercy on us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. 
Give us the joy of your saving help again and sustain us with your bountiful spirit. Give peace in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Keep the nations under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and sustain me with your Holy Spirit. Lord, hear my prayer, and let my cry come before you. Almighty and merciful God, you are the only source of health and healing. You alone can bring calmness and peace. Grant to all of our neighbors who are ill an awareness of your presence and a strong confidence in you. In their pain, weariness, and anxiety, surround them with your care. Protect them by your loving might and grant to them once again the gifts of health and strength and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of earth and air, water and fire, height and depth, we pray for those who work in danger, who rush in to bring hope and help and comfort when others flee to safety, whose mission is to seek and save, serve and protect and whose presence embodies the protection of Jesus, the Good Shepherd. Give them caution and concern for one another, so that, in safety, they may do what must be done under your watchful eye. Support them in their courage and dedication, that they may continue to save lives, ease pain, and mend the torn fabric of lives and social order. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Compassionate God, support and strengthen all those who reach out in love, concern, and prayer for the sick and distressed. In their acts of compassion, may they know that they are your instruments. In their concerns and fears, may they know your peace. In their faithful serving, may they know your steadfast love. May they not grow weary or faint-hearted. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, in the stillness of our souls, we listen for your voice to know again that you are God. Quiet our restless hearts with the knowledge that you are near us, keeping watch over your own. Rekindle our faith and light the lamp of hope within our hearts. Then take us by the hand into each day that lies ahead. For where you lead, we can confidently go with Jesus Christ, our Lord, in whose name we pray. Amen. That'll do it for now. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with us. We hope it's been a blessing. Please take a moment to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and tell your friends about us. Stop by and visit us online at goodshepherdlife.org, and please consider making a gift to support our ongoing ministry. You'll find our PayPal address in the program notes. Stay well, be of good cheer, and be kind to one another. I'll see you tomorrow.